Hola, Truth Consciousness Seeds, from Popayan, Colombia. So, who's he? Dr. Guillen Nautu, medical doctor, author of the bestseller, The Medical Mafia, that I have right here. Dr. Nautu practiced medicine in the field of phlebology. That's the treatment of varicose veins for almost 20 years. Never once during this time did she stop asking herself many questions such as, why are certain illnesses untreatable? Why do some people die from an illness and others recover? Why do medical costs continue to skyrocket? Why is only treatment enumerated and not prevention? Why are people still dying of cancer after 50 plus years of intensive research and astronomical costs? Why is there no information on alternative medicines? Why are there so many medical organizations and government agencies? Whose interests are they protecting? The medical profession was unable to provide Guy with any of these and other questions, the answers to any of these and other questions. She gave up hoping to learn through traditional channels. She chose to enroll in the School of Life. Guy was mostly out to discover what doctors do not learn about medicine, namely alternative medicines. She also discovered during her apprenticeship the existence and importance of that which we cannot see, the invisible, the energy. We're all vibrant bodies of energy and the frequency of these vibrations determines our state of health. Slowly, over the years, she discovered the subtleties of the medical mafia and had the answers to her questions. In search for an ideal medical system, Guy quickly realized, and it is surely no secret to anyone, that poverty is the mother of all misery and that the medical care is extremely expensive. As a mother of four children, Guy was convinced that the only worthwhile inheritance that she could have leave her children was her contribution to the creation of a better society, a society in which her children and their children could continue to grow. To create, one must first dream, and then one must find a way to realize one's dream. In 1983, Dr. Langto put up a sign on the walls of her clinics, Unlimited Health. She knew it was possible, but did not know how to arrive at it. It was not until 10 years later that she found that it could be done. She came to understand that one could achieve much more than merely maintaining good health. Immortality is certainly not out of the question. Please, don't worry. Guy does not belong to any religion, sect, secret society, or to any particular political party. Her only allegiance is to herself. She is a person with faith, not in external authorities, but in herself, in you, in us, in humanity. She has faith in the divinity of the human being. The, she only ha, one only has to escape from our prison and fly. When we search, we do discover, but not always that what, what we find is what we want to find. The medical system is a veritable medical mafia which creates sickness 
and kills for money and power. A rather macabre discovery. Contrary to what all of us might like to believe, it is not the authorities, medical or political, that are going to bring about the solution. Indeed, it is they who have created the problem. It is they who seek in maintaining it. We alone, as patients, as concerned citizens, can open the gate to the prison and realize our dream of health and prosperity. Dr. Guylaine Nancteau wrote the book, The Medical Mafia, for all of those who love life. She included in it the recipe for health. The first edition came out in 1994. Of course, all health broke loose after 1994. And not surprisingly, Dr. Guylaine Langteau lost her license to practice medicine and her life fell apart completely. At that time, Guy's soul showed her that the world in which we live is made up of lies and illusions. Reality can only be perceived with the soul's eyes. She learned that behind the income tax system and all other systems, we have find slaves without chains. Human beings who are ignorant and unconscious of being the property of the state. They trust their government enough to entrust it with their children, with their health, with their property, their entire lives. Citizens cannot guess that the state is a mere legislator and tax collector, collector working for the Bank of Canada, a cartel of private bankers. When Guy became aware of this situation, she decided to put an end to her life as the subject of a higher authority. She knew she had to behave in a way that was opposite of how a slave behaves. A slave, like a domestic dog, submits to the master who feeds it and brings it security. The more docile the dog, the better he gets treated. She decided to escape from slavery at all costs. She renounced the rights and privileges guaranteed by the state and stopped fulfilling the required duties and obligations. The state worried about the uncommon behavior of one of its slaves and forcefully tried to bring the descendant back into the rightful path. When finding out that Guy, that Dr. Guylaine Nocteau, did not file income tax returns since 1995, the unconscious white sheep shout, that's what happens to swindlers. She deserves to go to jail. The black sheep are more aware of the government's manipulation and lies. They are delighted and shout, finally, someone who dares to challenge the rotten system. Guy's adventure was, however, not mod motivated by a desire to save money or a wish to rebel against the authorities. She only had one goal, finding her true identity, asserting and honoring it. In her book, Madame Guy, Escape in Prison, Guy showed how a human being, once he has reached a certain point in his evolution, cannot continue to behave as an intelligent and fearful animal. The human species has finally reached the end of a long process in the evolution of consciousness. Our species is presently undergoing a huge mutation. I heard of Guy shortly before I started my awakening. You can read the short version of my story on the site withinmypower.com. Guy gave me her incredible support and guidance during my very difficult days. 
when my entire life fell apart. I will share details of my story in person at every workshop that I offer. I cannot offer the wealth of information and experiences that Guy possesses, but I do offer all of her teachings and tools presented in my way. In this incredible environment of a Colombian finca, starting February 3rd to 7th, 2020, in English, and March 2 to 6, 2020, in Spanish, I trust I will share infinite love with you very soon. Infinite love.